In this tutorial, you'll learn how to stitch Insta360 Titan videos in Insta360 Stitcher. First, make sure all your files from 9 SD cards have been imported into the same folder correctly. Each recording folder contains a project file, 8 original files captured by each lens, 8 proxy videos, and a preview video. Before stitching, do a speed test first to confirm your computer meets performance requirements. Under Settings, select Hardware Performance Test. Check the results once it's complete. Begin by importing a video folder into Insta360 Stitcher. Drag the video folders directly to the box on the left. Now you can adjust stitching settings in the upper right corner. Select your desired content type. Remember to always choose the right content type during shooting. You can render 2D videos from 3D stereoscopic footage, but not vice versa. Select the stitching mode. New optical flow is recommended for most situations, providing a good mix of stitching speed and quality. If you're unsatisfied with the final stitch of complex scenes, try optical flow instead. Template stitching is the fastest mode, but stitching quality will be lower. Select the sampling type. This is more important for moving camera scenes. If the camera is static, the result will be similar between the different options. For moving shots, sampling with a lower speed can result in a better image quality. Blender type is usually automatically chosen based on your computer configuration. Choose hardware encoding and decoding modes based on content, stitching quality, stitching speed, and your computer performance. You may also pick a reference frame. The stitching parameters of this frame will be used as a reference for the stitching settings of the full video. Click to preview stitching effect. You can drag the preview image to adjust the image horizon and center. The Zenith optimization function can optimize stitching at the top of the image. This is particularly helpful when there are objects above your camera, such as tree branches or ceilings. Now select output settings. Resolution can be selected or customized here. Stitcher supports both H.264 and H.265 codecs. Stitcher will automatically select a preset bitrate based on resolution settings. You can also customize it according to your needs. Stitcher offers three audio options. You can export your video with spatial audio, normal, which means stereo audio, or export the video without sound. You can also choose to export audio files separately. You can also set the output directory path and output file name. When you're done setting up, you can add the video to a batch list for bulk processing or stitch immediately 